to Boychuk. Back for Strom. Out to Boychuk. Lines it up. Just he scores! And the Islanders win it in overtime. Islanders four. with Donna and a look who's cooking at Showcase Kitchens. We've got Chef Rudy and Johnny Boycha. <laughs> so, so Chef, what are you making for us here today at Showcase? Right. We're gonna open up with some appetizers. Nice. I have a vegetable dumpling. We have a vegetable spring roll, bang bang shrimp. Lastly, beef tenderloin. Excellent. So you're a big fan of food, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, being in the NHL, uh, your first uh, big game that you played was at Hershey, in Hershey, Hershey Bears. Yeah, for, for the Bears. Yeah, it was, uh, it smelled like chocolate all over the town. <laughs> <laughs> so, so do you indulge? Are you like white no, chocolate, dark chocolate, not, no? I'm not really a chocolate guy, but uh, I didn't mind having some there. Excellent. Yeah. So when you have dessert, what do you like to dine on? Ice cream, but lactose tolerant. Aha, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> there you go. Yeah. But beef you can eat. Yes. And bang bang shrimp you can eat. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about the recipe. What are you cooking up first first? Okay. All first right. we'll start with our appetizers. Nice. We're gonna get the um What is dumplings. that? This is a bamboo steamer. Okay. Also, right. it could be a hockey puck, a giant hockey puck, you no? Think so? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it's round. <laughs> no. So okay. What we're do, we'll, plate, we'll plate some of these up. All right. You now, what's in these? Vegetables. We have uh, Napa cabbage. Okay. Scallions. Nice. Carrots. Lovely. And we have cellophane noodles. Okay. Just to keep everything together. And we're going to serve this. Put them up like this. With a little sweet chili glaze. That looks really tasty. So, Chef, what got you into cooking? Well, I'm second generation. I learned from my father. Okay. He was a chef. Uh, I was always the kid that was not outside playing sports, but learning from him in the kitchen. And it just seemed like a natural progression for me. Beautiful. And how about you, Johnny? What got you into hockey? Uh, family, brothers were playing hockey and uh, you'd always be at the hockey arena. So it's just the same thing. Now, did you ever play on a frozen pond? Or uh, only like in a community, rink? Community you did? rink, like uh, okay. you'd go there like once or twice a day, or not day, but uh, once or twice a couple every week. So yeah, it's just normal. Excellent. So, um, and now we've got food that brings us together. So, uh, let's take a taste. That looks please, yummy. Please. Okay. So this, what is this, um, this whole thing you made? This whole thing. Wow. Smells good. Okay. So, um, go. now I'll know it's good if you also take a taste. Cause it, right? Is that like, well, let's all try first. <laughs> okay, you go there first, you Johnny. Go. All right. Okay. Bon appetit. Here we go. Yummy. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I'll try one. Okay. They say chefs don't try their own food. Right? There you go. But here, but here we do, because it's dishing with Don, and that's what we're doing. We're dishing it up, and we're having a taste. Okay, so I'm going to take a taste too. Mmm. It's good. Yeah, it is good. <laughs> All right. Quality ingredients really Absolutely. makes a difference. So uh, once again, what's in this? Napa cabbage. Napa cabbage. Okay. Carrots, the cellophane noodles, and that's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. There you go. And you steam them in what is that thing called? A bamboo steamer. Bamboo Just steamer. Over a pot of water. Okay. Let it go for a couple of minutes. It'll create its own steam. And they just they just come out perfectly like that. Excellent. So I know one of the things you guys have in common um, is that you both have twins. Yes. So like when you're talking about you want to talk about your, your your team at home and your home team, and I'm gonna eat this. So continue. Here we go. My girls will be 16 this year. And <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So they coach my wardrobe. They, they're, okay. my, they're my biggest food critics. Okay. <laughs> All right? And yeah. they're brutal, so it's okay. I got two four-year-olds, and they just, it's either they're fighting or one's good, <laughs> one's bad. And, but uh, so far, it's been a, a great experience, and, and it's going to be. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. And our second appetizer is? Appetizer. Appetizers. 
Um, so if you're watching at home, uh, we are at Showcase Kitchens and so excited to be here today. Uh, John Stark, his wonderful family, it's a five generation uh, family business and they invited us in to like dish, dish it up. Um, and these are these spring rolls. Okay. Yeah. So one of the things you were talking about is when you're playing hockey, sometimes you can actually lose like 10 pounds just from oh, one yeah. game. Just water weight, uh, just, okay. just by playing and it's very easily done, but you have to make sure you're hydrated and um, you'll lose it, but gain it at the same time. So it's, it's actually quite easy. Okay, hey. ta-da! Spring rolls. Whoa! Oh, no. <laughs> one for me, one for you, ta-da! Okay. So, one for a couple of dogs. <laughs> now you have dogs, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, I'll take one. Excellent. Cheers. Um, so one of the things we were talking about too, cheers everybody and cheers to you. Uh, spring rolls, okay, hold on a second. Mmm. Really good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now what's in that? Again, Napa cabbage. Okay. Uh, bean sprouts. Uh, we have cellophane noodles in this as well. Okay. Very tasty. Um, when did you become a professional chef? Back in 1987. 97. I graduated from cooking school, decided I'm going to uh, take the food world by storm. I'm going to be the next... Whatever. Thing. Right. So I decided to work in restaurants, uh, hotels, catering, and see which, uh, see, see which one of those paths I like the most. Okay. So I did all three, and catering really stuck with me. Because everywhere you go, it's a different locale, and it's not just the four walls of a restaurant. So I really enjoy that. Wonderful. And you coming up in hockey, uh, I was asking you earlier, at what age did you know that you kind of had talent at that? And you said 14-ish. Yeah, around 14. Okay. Yeah, because you get drafted into the into juniors, and then from there it's uh, a process. But you don't really know when you're going to make the NHL until you actually do. And once you do, you want to stay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, don't want to go back to the bus rides and stuff like that. No. <laughs> Um, no. So now you still have your first stick? Or yes, no? you yes, do. yes, yes. Since I was, well, four, I got uh, a couple autographs on it, so it's I've had it, and uh, I'm not going to give it away. You won't part with it. No. <laughs> and, and how about you? Do you have any of your original cooking tools or anything that your yes. um, parents handed down to you that are special in your... I do. Okay, I what do, do you have? I, have? I have my father passed, and he left me his, his cookbook. Oh, Rudy. Nice. So... That's I'm cool. going to keep that and, and bake with my daughters and my son and just teach them how to do things and just keep it going and just hand it down from, from family to family generation. Family tradition. Exactly. I love that. Um, and you said something about bang, bang shrimp. Bang, bang shrimp. Bang, bang shrimp. You got that. Okay, so what's in bang, bang shrimp? Bang, bang shrimp. Okay. Ooh, that this looks is tasty. bang, bang shrimp. Yum. It's, it's a crunchy coating of um, cornstarch. Okay. A little seasoning, uh, a little uh, Asian five spice. Then you deep fry them, and again, you take a, a chili glaze and you sear them, you sear the shrimp in the chili glaze. Excellent. So it coats it. Okay. And the cornstarch helps stick in the sauce as well. Tasty, very tasty. Oh. My grandfather was also a chef, really? and he had a polenta stick. Okay. And that stick, like he would stir the polenta with it, right? Nice. Um, and always enjoyed going to his house. We always would have on Sundays... Um, I used to call it kitchen cacciatore. I didn't know until years later it was actually chicken cacciatore. <laughs> so like, I think I was an adult before I realized. I was like, oh, it's chicken oh. cacciatore. Oh, who knew? Okay. Um, but it was always fun to go to his house on Sundays and you know have a meal. And my other grandfather would always make us pancakes every Sunday, like the nice. silver dollar size. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so all those like family memories. But that's what it's all about. It's all about food and family. And that's, you know, the, the kitchen is the heart of the house. So everybody gravitates towards the kitchen. Nice. That smells incredible. Thank you. That's what you're having. You're... <laughs> Johnny loves to eat. Okay. <laughs> let's just let's just say it like it is, right? Let's take care of Johnny. Right? Care of Johnny. <laughs> That's it. Oh right. my gosh, that looks so, tasty. Okay. Okay. They're a little. little I'm not. Spicy. I'm not going to toss this one in the air. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. A little spicy. A little sweet. Uh, let's go from the top, I guess. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Award it's winning. Right. Award winning. <laughs> Thank you. And Thank I'm going to save mine um, because I also know that you brought another tasty dish with another type of cooking method. Okay. Steak. Yes. Filet mignon? No. Filet some tenderloin? Mm -hmm. What are you making us? They're the tenderloin? Same. They're the same. They're, they're two and the same. <gasps> I didn't know that. Yes. Did you know that? I do now. Oh, we do. <laughs> we do now. We all know that. Okay. So 
Uh, this cookie method is a little interesting. What's going on over here, chef? This is what we call cooking sous vide. Okay. And sous vide translated from the French is called cooking on the vacuum, which means you're taking the food and you're vacuum packing it the food and you're cooking it in a temperature, uh, a precise temperature bath. Okay. The steak is in 134 degree bath. It won't overcook because the temperature never surpasses 134 degrees. Oh. So it stays juicy, it cooks in its own juices, and it's a great method of, of cooking. Safe for us to hand it over to you? Oh, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. And she takes the pants and, and score! Okay. Go. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, what would the phraseology be in hockey? Shoots? Scored. Scored. There you go. <laughs> oh, she takes the pants. Uh, oh. She takes the pants. <laughs> the pants. No, the pass. Oh, the, the pass. pass. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you, I know that you sharpen your knives every single day. All. all okay. All the time. Constantly. Um, when I interviewed Peter Max, one of the things that he taught me too is that every single day mm -hmm. he paints and even even uh, Tony Bennett, same thing. Every single day you would think that he gets up and he sings, but actually mm -hmm. he paints. He's an artist. Okay. So and food is art, so it's important to have your tools be nice and sharp. You're only as good as your tools. Wonderful. And and I guess you would agree with that in hockey too, yeah. right? As good as your skates and yeah, your stick. You have to make sure your skates are sharp and exactly. So I mean, yeah. Does we have our Tenderloin, we'll lay it out. All right. Uh, we can say fan, Oh, and fan it, it does out. look like filet mignon. Oh, really? I get it. It's the, is it the density of the cut? Is that what makes it it's like that? Actually, that looks delicious. Yeah, not too thick, not too thin. Okay. And just um, shingle it out on the plate. Wait, before I even do that, let me add this. Okay. What I did was I made a horseradish aioli. Yummy. Oh, yeah. Now, do you cook at your house? Ever? For the most part. Did yeah. you bar? You do? You barbecue yeah, I, I, or? What? It depends on the day and how much time you have. Understood. So, so what we'll do we like to cook. We'll make bite-sized pieces. Yummy. That looks good. This I am going to partake in. All right. And then I'm going to save the chef for later. But, okay, so that looks really good, chef. Now, um, if you're cooking something at home like this, yes. right, is it possible to kind of create that whole experience but just on the stovetop? If you have the right bag and if your temperature's yeah. the right water? That's the key. Okay. Keeping it the, the proper temperature. On a, on a stove top, it might suppress the 134 degree, so you need something that can regulate that. And the easiest way I found was just one of these machines, and it takes all the guesswork out of it. So here we go, beef tenderloin. Fantastic. Take a little aioli, try that out. Okay, Johnny, here you go. Okay, might as well try it. Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and for the uh, viewers at home, this taste is for you. Okay, hold on. Mmm. Very tender. That's good. Again. Wow. Wow. Woo! That is good quality Thank meat. You. Right? So if you start with, it's important, I guess, to have something that starts Absolutely. with quality, quality ingredients. Absolutely. It makes, it makes a world of a difference. Good quality ingredients good results on the end. Now when you're um, traveling and you're eating on the road, is there like a snack that you take with you? Apples, oranges, bananas, like, or? Mm, no, we usually just go on the, well, before you get on the plane, you have lunch and then you get to the city wherever you are and go to a restaurant and indulge. Excellent, and indulge. <laughs> I don't take snack. <laughs> just have whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> Fine dining at its best. Absolutely. That's really good, isn't it? Yeah, okay. it is really good. Really good, congratulations. That's Thank you. absolutely Thank you wonderful. So much. Um, how can somebody learn from you at home? Mm -hmm. uh, do you have YouTube videos? I'm What's... starting a YouTube channel. You are? <laughs> Wonderful. Um, same for hockey. Uh, how do you like to um, embrace the questions that you get from fans at home in terms of hockey? Do you ever get like those fan letters that say, hey, I want to grow up and I want to be you, Johnny? Uh, you just uh, answer them truthfully. I mean, um, yeah, you get fan letters and you try to answer as many questions as you can. but. Uh, you know, if somebody asks you a question, just be truthful. And that's what happened to me. So, <laughs> <laughs> and I and I know on our show, um, the whole show is about living it up. So, mm -hmm. how do you like to celebrate life? How do you and your family live it up? Uh, we just got back from vacation. We went to uh, Bahamas, and and today we're here. So, I mean, <laughs> it was a, a quick turnaround, but uh, it, it was a fun trip. Wonderful. And how about you, Chef? I like to get the whole family around, cook, laugh play some music, and just enjoy one, one end of that. 
Wonderful. And, and, and one of the people that are here today um, that was so gracious to invite us um, and the way that he likes to live it up is that he celebrates life in a big way too. Uh, you want to come, John? Come over sure. here. This is John Stark. Come on over. Do you want to try this? I know you do, right? <laughs> okay, so, so, so uh, this is John. And John, your family, you like to live it up. I do. Every day, right? Yeah. Okay, so bon appetit. I'm going to try one. Okay, excellent. Um, so if you guys have questions or things that you would like to share with us, we want to know how your family likes to celebrate family traditions. You can reach out to us at info at liveituptvshow.com. John. Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you for coming. Stay tuned for more. We're having fun right here, dishing with Donna. Woohoo! <laughs>